Yes, okay. All right, folks, uh, it's Gary Noel here. I'm just going to take a break from the uh, World Book Club there, uh, and we'll go back to that in, in 10 or 15 minutes. But I have guests in the studio that are here for Trails, Tales, and Tunes, and I wanted to get an opportunity to interview them before they leave town. They have already played here, so unfortunately you won't get to see them live here in uh, in uh, Norris Point, but uh uh, I'll, I'll find out as I talk to them uh, if they, you might get, still get to see them somewhere else in Newfoundland if you happen to be in that place. And we have their CD here, and I'm going to play a song uh, from it at the end of the interview. And maybe you'll run into them somewhere else along the way. So it's great to get a chance to talk to them before they leave. So uh, I have in the studio now. We're, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll do a bit of a test first, just to make sure we're all we're all mic'd here. So uh, I'll ask uh, the two members of Amala if they'll introduce themselves. So we have... Ryden. Ryden, she's coming through loud and clear. And Paul. And Paul. Okay, so we got Ryden and Paul. And uh, they played uh, at the opening concert on Friday night. And uh, they also played yesterday afternoon at Cat Stop. So you might have already had a chance to see them. And if you did, you know that uh, it's a great combination of, um, of guitar and um, uh, harp. So let, let's start with Ryden, who is the harp player. So Ryden... I don't know much about harps, but I know there's different kinds. What kind of harp did you play, or do you play? That's right. I play the Irish harp. The Irish harp, right. Because one of our uh, local residents, Gail Tapper, now plays, I think, a Paraguayan harp. That's right, yeah. Yes. Did you meet Gail? I met her, yeah. We were talking about harps for a good while. I'm sure you you were. Uh, So what's the difference, for example, between an Irish harp and a Paraguayan harp? Actually, it's not a huge difference in in playing. The strings are organized the same way. It's like like a scale, like the white keys on the piano. You have a, the one scale, and um, so it would be both would be a, a type of folk harp, where um, some have an option of levers to shorten strings to get then the black keys, the sharps and flats. Okay. Um, so we have a lot in common and. The difference might be the shape and the sound. And the sound, yeah. Yeah. So, I don't think you're Irish. It doesn't sound like it. (laughs) I grew up in Belgium, yeah. In Belgium. So, how did you come about playing Irish harp? Uh, I'm sure it's played around the world, but... Yeah, yeah, that's right. I actually, in 1989, I met a guy busking in a town near where I grew up, and um, he played the Irish harp. He was... uh, Long story, but anyway, he was self-taught, but uh, inspired by Irish music and chieftains and the whole lot. So that's how I got into it. Okay, and up to that point, musically, what had you been doing? I've been playing guitar mainly. Okay, Mm -hmm. and in bands or by yourself or... I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's that was the beginning of your musical career, basically, was to learn the Irish harp and then start playing. If you want, yeah. Okay, uh-huh. did you do solo stuff? or A lot, yeah, okay. a lot of solo stuff. And how long have you and Paul been playing together as a mala? Since um, three years, four years now, Neil. No, three years, mm-hmm. I suppose. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, and you've traveled the world? <laughs> mainly, mainly around our part of the world, I suppose. We have been to Belgium this year and uh, the year before, France and Germany, Holland. Okay, so uh, you're based in Ireland now, though. That's right. Okay, so Paul, uh, what about you uh, musically? What, how, when did you get started, and at what? Uh, I started on on piano when I was very small, and then uh, the local cinema at home in Dunleary, near Dublin. Uh, in between movies, they played uh, instrumental music by a band called The Shadows. I don't think they were big on this side of the world. I know of them, though, yeah. Yeah, instrumental yeah. electric guitar and yeah. bass and drums. Yeah, and they I were kind of like the British version of The Ventures. Yes. Yeah. And I fell in love with that sound, and I wanted to play guitar. And uh, 50 years later or so, I'm still playing it. Oh, cool. Uh, and when did you guys, you guys get together as a duo how long ago? Um, a little bit over three years, I suppose. We oh. met at a funeral. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As a musician's As, funeral. Okay. You were uh, playing music at a funeral? A very famous Irish fiddler called Paddy Cronin. Okay. Uh, who we both knew. We didn't know each other. Yeah, okay. And uh, there was a fantastic music session at the funeral as a way of showing respect to... As it guy. should be. We were all sorry he was gone, but we wanted to... Of course. ...honour his memory. So, great session. And I, I noticed this lovely harp music coming from one corner and I thought I've got to find out more about that okay and uh, you know 
that led on to getting a few tunes together and deciding to take it seriously and make an album and do a bit of touring and put a lot of work into creating our own stuff. It's um, not exactly trad, it's not exactly jazz, it's not exactly world music. It's, it's a bit of everything. Mm-hmm. Just think of it as a mala music. Okay, so, like, we play, for example, we play some uh, Renaissance-era tunes or, you know, 300-year-old music, but we don't do it, we don't claim to do it in authentic style. We'll throw in our own interpretations okay. and our own improvisations. So, you've got one album now? Just one at the moment, yeah, but yeah. We're, we're working on... And uh, what's, yeah. what, what's the mix of stuff on the album uh, in terms of, like, traditional, originals, whatever. There's a, there's a good bit of uh, traditional Irish stuff on it. Uh, there's stuff from the Irish harp repertoire. There's a Dave Brubeck tune on it. Oh. There's two originals on it and some, uh, I suppose you'd call it uh, Renaissance Baroque okay. stuff, but not not in uh, you know authentic style, in right. our, our own style. We take you want to put your own stamp on it. Yeah. Like, for example, there's a tune we play called Miss Hamilton, just composed in 1702 the guy who composed it who was from Kerry Cornelius Lyons he was famous for variations so in his spirit if you like we do improvisations in the middle of this 300 year old tune because I think he'd like that (laughs) that's good and who brings the ideas together I mean as you develop your repertoire and that you both do? Or? Together, yeah. It's yeah. a good co- cooperation. Like, okay, good so practice. one of you thinks, hey, what do you think of this if we try to put this thing together and do yeah. our own version of this? Absolutely. And it goes from there. Yeah. So you, you, will you be working on another album at some point? Or? Well, we're always working on new stuff. Yeah. The, w- so once you get enough together, you'll yeah, yeah. try to put together again. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a good maybe a third of what we played in the concert here the other night is not on that album. Oh. Maybe it'll be on the next one. Okay, Who knows? cool. Yeah. And 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 so these few years you've been together, where have you gone? Like what uh, you've done festivals and yeah. Uh, it to be honest, it's not that easy to get gigs because if a promoter says, "Well, what kind of music do you play?" we can't give a short answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, so, but we we are we are we are gaining more and more credibility, and it's very encouraging. Like the audience response we've been getting here, and the week before this we were in in Belgium, Germany, and Holland. And we re- really, that sounds boasting to say it, but we really got a good response. Yeah. And that's encouraging. So I think we're beginning to, we're beginning to break into something. So, so do you think maybe that uh, the fact that you cannot be kind of classified as a particular genre, is, are people be, are becoming a bit more receptive to that? Like, like, you know, willing to accept almost any kind of music if it's, if it's good, you know? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's both a blessing and a curse in a way. I mean, yes. I'm, I'm very proud that we're so diverse. Right. But there is that difficulty. Right. But um, people love it when they hear it. Yeah. The difficulty is to get them to hear it. Yes, exactly. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And how did this gig come about? Uh, I was over in Newfoundland last September. It was my third time coming over for Fela Seamus Cray. You know that festival? Yeah, in I do. Dance? I went went there once. It was great. Seamus, Seamus Cray was uh, was a friend so of mine. So how how did he invited you to this or? Uh, no, no. Uh, the 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 Seamus Cray Festival is in honor of him. He's, right, he's, oh, right. He's dead a number of years. And and while I was while I was at that festival with the, some other musical friends okay. of mine, uh, you, you know Jerry Strong. Yes. Uh, Jerry was was uh, driving my wife and her sister and me around, showing us the sights. Yeah. And we'd go to some, through some little town, and he said, "There's a real nice little church there. They do concerts." And my mind was beginning to think uh, maybe we could do a tour here. So after I got back to Ireland. I was talking to Ryden about it, and he said, I said, you'd love it in Newfoundland. I and, do, yes. Uh, and, <laughs> oh, uh, good. Proud so to hear I, I, I got on to Jerry and I uh, said, can you suggest a few people that I should get in contact with? So he put me on to Daniel, Daniel Payne, yeah. uh, for this festival. Yeah. And a bunch of other um, uh, cultural centres. So Excellent. we came to St. John's. We drove all the way over here over a couple of days, and we're going to work our way back towards St. John's at the various other concerts. So what other, what other dates are you playing in Newfoundland? We're playing in Lewisport tonight in right. the Citadel. Uh-huh. And then on Wednesday, we're in Glovertown in the Diamond, Diamond Arts. Diamond House, yeah, Diamond I know the one, yeah. Then on Friday, we're in Jerry's Place in, in Freshwater, Freshwater, near Carbonier. Uh, Saturday, we're back in St. John's. We're doing a lunchtime thing in Fred's Records, lovely shop. And we're doing an evening concert in Manuel's River Centre. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then on Sunday, we're down to Renews. I'm really looking forward to getting back there. And after that, we have another day or two of rest and we go home. Oh, excellent. Sounds like a, a nice time. Uh, <clears throat> I should, even though this is not, this is about you and not about me, but since you brought it up, I should mention that Freshwater 
is uh, where my father was born. Oh, really? Where my sister has my the house that my grandfather built as their summer house, and I spent a lot of time there. And it's where all the Knowles that are in Newfoundland came to originally. So, so in the 1750s, my ancestor, who was from Channel Islands, a French-speaking Noel, not Noel, mm. came to Freshwater, and all the Knowles eventually spread out from there. Fantastic. So uh, fresh water is special to me. Yeah. And it's a beautiful little spot, isn't it? It is. It is, yeah. 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 I can't wait to get back there again. Okay. Well, that's great. Uh, delighted that you guys are here. And you're, and Barry, who's a groupie with you, I see. <laughs> he's also here in the studio. The driver. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the driver. Got to have a driver. He's, he's the man that brought me to Ireland, like, uh, many years ago. Oh, well, then you're, you, you wouldn't be where you are now if it wasn't for Barry. That's right, yeah. So Barry's a very important part of this, this trio here. Okay, uh, well, guys, it's been great talking to you. Uh, so glad you were here. It was really wonderful to see you perform here. Uh, we have the CD here now, or I'm going to play a tune from, which we'll, we'll be able to go back to anytime we want, so that's wonderful. So uh, thanks again. Uh, enjoy the rest of Newfoundland. Best of luck in your future career in your wonderful music that you play. Thanks, Thanks. Guys. Okay. Thanks for having us. All right. So we're going to go to, uh, let me see, I got CD1. Uh, I got their CD called uh, Just Resonance. There. Oh, it's here. It's called Re Resonance. I thought I was going to say Renaissance, and maybe <laughs> it could be that too. <laughs> but it's Resonance, and we're going to play a track which is an original. Yep. And it's called Count Me In. So here is Amala.